Hey, I'm going to talk about a whole bunch of things in this video. A lot of stuff I talk about people who don't, are not very spiritual. I don't mean, I don't mean going to church. That's not true spirituality. They're, uh, it's just a construct. It's a belief system that keeps you in, in chains. All churches, all, that's what they do. You're, you're a sovereign being of, the, of this universal creator. You have every right to believe whatever you want. There's no hell. There's none of that. Okay? It's all just to keep people in, in bondage and under control, in fear. That's the first thing I want to say. The second, now, don't judge. Period, you shouldn't judge. But, I mean, don't, look, don't judge by the way I appear. Okay? I've been dealing with sickness for over 35 years. I've had over 200 infections. Okay, and I'm still here, all right? I've dealt with, you don't know how much I've dealt with, how much pain I've gone through. But that pain, you know, losing my family in a house fire um, was, was devastating, but I never gave up. That's why I got help, okay? I was not going to give up. I knew that this time on earth was important and I had to be, here and experience what I had to do and experience what I had experienced and learn what I had to learn. It was my, it's my free will, my choice. I still get, I still got help. I should have asked, but I didn't. And I'll ascended master or being, whatever you want to, it doesn't matter what title you give these beings. They're ascended beings from higher dimensional realms. They came to me and asked if they wanted, offered their help, which was so, it was beautiful. It was so kind of them to do that. I mean, that's one thing I you gotta pride is can get in the way of you accomplishing things and realizing your true journey. I mean, who you really are and, and and who everybody is. We're all connected. So when I got help by these ascended being, one of these ascended beings, and I told you um, on another video I talked about this. I said, okay, fine, but they I had to give them permission, which was fine. I gave them permission. It's spiritual law. It's universal spiritual law. You have to do that. And I did. And that night, I told, uh, like I said in the previous video, that um, a being, ascended being, came and helped me achieve the Kundalini. And he, he put all his, his spiritual energy into the base of my spine, into the base chakra, and, sh and it, it connected all my chakras, my seven chakra, main chakras. There's more chakras, but you connected all of them. And I started to have an out-of-body experience because I realized what was happening. And he pushed me back in my body. He said, and I can hear his thoughts saying, no, you have to stay in there. You have to stay in your physical body. Because your spirit, that's who you really are. These physical forms that we're in, they're just it's just like a suit we wear when we're on the earth. That's all it is. Okay. And um, after that, it, was, it took a while, a gradual building the energy and... Uh, I mean, I mean, I felt instantly a big, big relief. And the love that I felt from this being was is amazing, it was tremendous. It was never felt that love before. And I remembered that love, though. See, I know I've had a Kundalini experience in past lives. Um, I was told that I, that I had over 10 billion, about 10, well, over 10 billion lives. I've been in, not on just this planet, but other planets. So you're a soul, you're a galactic soul. This is all about this ascension and everything. What I've come to understand through my own experience, okay, now I'm just making that clear. We all have, during the Kundalini experience for almost two years I was having, I connected with everybody. It's like, it's, it was an amazing experience. Like what happened was that I realized that I'm inside, every, I'm connected with everybody, okay, and you're connected with me. And everybody's connected. We're all one. Okay, that's what I felt. It was kind of scary when it happened. But I connected and it was like I was one with everybody and everything. And it was like, it was a, a little overwhelming at first because my health condition, you know, it was kind of overwhelming. But I dealt with it and it was, not, it was an amazing experience. Okay, this is who we are. We're all connected through spirit, through conscious spirit. We're all connected. And, um, okay, this ascension. Now, they're, they're putting up, uh, they're, there's a lot of videos have been put out about putting up a fifth, fifth dimensional grid, crystalline grid. Now, I had an experience a few months ago where I looked up into the night sky and I could see them. 
I could see that grid being put up it just quickly. It was only for a split couple of uh, split second, but I seen it being put up. So yeah, I could see it with my physical eye, my spirit. Well, my third eye, I guess, my spiritual eye. I could see it. It's being put up. Um, my sp uh, you never, you're never alone. Your spirit guides are always with you. Spirit is always around you. I feel them all the time. I can't see them, which I, that sucks. I really want. I really, I couldn't, I can't see them physically yet, but I catch glimpses, yes. I catch shadows, and and um, I see them sometimes out of the corner of my eye mostly, not in the front, but I also see light beings, like orbs, flashes, blue, different colors, white. But, sorry, what I wanted to say mostly is that everybody has their own journey. When I connected like that, I realized everybody is one with the, this universal creator, the creative source. We all have our own separate journeys, but we're all connected. And the best thing you can do is just be the best person you can be. Don't, uh, you know, love yourself unconditionally, but love others unconditionally. And, and the vice versa, love others unconditionally, but love yourself unconditionally too. You have to have that balance. It's hard, I know it's hard, because I struggle with it lots of times, uh, dealing with that. But it can be done. You need the balance. You have to have the balance. Um, just the other day, uh, my spirit guides let me know that they're with me. A friend of mine, with which I was been ed trying to educate about this stuff, he had the experience before I did, and that he was walking down the street, and he felt like somebody tugged on his jacket. He looked around, nobody's there. And then he started walking again, and he felt it again. And I told him, I go, that was your spirit guides. And um, he wasn't scared. He, I maybe had a little bit of fear, but I could feel it, just a little bit. But he, he did, you know, he's been he's starting to research this stuff a little bit, which is good. I'm happy about that, because that's what I wanted to, I want people to wake up and find out who they really are. And uh, I had the same experience um, last night. My spirit guides were letting me know that they were there which was cool. It didn't scare me because I know they're always around me. I've, I've had my bed, um, them come sit on my bed. I've, I've had them push me. <laughs> try to, I'm, I'm trying to have, it's hard to have an out-of-body experience. I had one time. I, I'm, I'm not sure if it was an ET being or my spirit guide because they're higher dimensional, right? These, these beings and tried to push me out of my body, but I, I almost went out actually. That was cool. It's not. It, don't be afraid of this stuff. It's it's who you are. We're we're all uh, spiritual beings. We're not this physical flesh. It's not our true state of being. We're actually light beings. That's our true state. As uh, we're headed towards that again, the fifth dimension. Now we we used to we live. I remember in a previous lives during Atlantis and in the Myria times. We were higher, we were highly consciously more evolved. We were higher up. We were fourth and fifth dimension. And I think some of us might have even touched, we were entering sixth. I'm not sure. But I have memories of that, of Lemuria. I was there. I remember when it was, this, when the continent was sinking in the ocean from some, that something happened. I don't know if a meteor hit or what happened or the earth tilted. But I, 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 that hasn't. I'm not clear. Maybe because it was such a, horish, a horrifying memory, terrible, terrible memory. But I do remember seeing it. But it was in a ship, a starship, watching it, like on a screen, or I'm not sure if it was. No, I think it was a screen, not through a window. And seeing the continent sinking in the ocean, part of it or all of it, I'm not sure because it's pretty vague. But this is like thousands of years ago, twelve, thirteen, fourteen thousand years ago. But it's a very vivid, uh, it's, I've had that memory for since my 20s, since I really started um, uh, meditating. But that's what I'm trying to say. We're all, okay, yeah, I'm, I don't want to talk about myself. Too much. I just want to give my own experiences, because I'm, per, I'm pretty much limited, okay? I can't go out much, I don't have much money, I'm just barely existing. And, and because of my health, I got to go to the hospital every three weeks, get treatment. So I'm trying to heal myself too, naturally. Uh, it's just taking longer than, than I would like it to, but maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. And uh, I just want to say, don't give up. That's the main thing about this video is don't give up. 
you're, you have your guides all around you all the time, whether you see them or not, or whether you hear them or not. Sometimes, actually, I've heard them, too, you know. Um, they're always around. Uh, don't give up. Just keep pursuing, keep persisting. You, we all have that fortitude within us, okay? If I can do it after all those years, this is the main thing about this video I wanted to say. If I could do that, the, going through all, all these infections and still being around and having the lupus, and that's getting better too. That's almost gone completely. All this stuff, and still having that fortitude to, to persist, to want to have that kundalini and not giving up, just, okay, if I can do it, you can do it. And if you're healthy, then there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do it. The only thing that's stopping you is you. That's the only thing. That's all I wanted to say on this video. Don't give up, basically, on this video. Uh, keep positive, and things will get better. Thank you.